Hello everyone, it's Jose. <clears throat> I'm streaming uh, a video in English now. Uh, the one I did before was in, in Spanish, uh, for the people who speak Spanish. I will be uh, streaming in both languages. Um, for you guys, try to, uh, I mean, share my point of view, leave me a comment if you, if you want to. Uh, here we go. Uh, our main topic today are, as I said, uh, three three topics actually. But the three, I mean, one main topic, but with three episodes. I mean, uh, is uh, for uh, increases your stats, increasing your stats. Uh, I already talked about equipment. I will talk about equipment. I will talk about heroes and um, their importance. I will talk about technology in the Arcana Tower and the Institute. And I will talk about Jewelry. I will talk about many things in this video. I will do this a longer video because since many people speak Spa uh, speaks English more than Spanish in this game, I will do it. Um, if you guys find someone who wants uh, in a video in Spanish, just let me know. I will do. Uh, I will do one. Okay, so I will. I will start right now. Okay, here I have. Uh, this is my avatar. And my name is Line Ninety One, and this is my equipment. As you see, if I touch here. You see that all my reset attributes are focused on infantry. Uh, my jewelry as well is the for increasing stats. As you know, all my jewelries in infantry attack are seven percent already, and I try to get my reset attributes to blue, purple, and up because I think green and uh, white attributes um, are not very good. So I try to, to get them there all in my equipment. So if you see the Dragon Helm here, it's the same. Infantry HP, 7%, and the reset attributes on blue. Um, this one is the one that I have better, I have better luck with him, with it, sorry. Um, my Dragon Armor is Infantry Defense, Archer's Attack, and Cavalry HP. Uh, I have two uh, uh, reset attributes on purple, so that's that's uh, pretty good actually. I'm proud of it. Thanks. Uh, here, my dragon pants. I have my reset attributes on blue. My infantry defense. I have a I have an, a stone. I mean, uh, one of the stone you were really on eight percent. That's huge. It took me like four. Infantry defense seven percent jewelry, which means it took me a long time, guys. So I got it there to eight percent. I got that lucky. Sometimes you, through events, through packages, you can get it. Here, my infantry HP is purple, which means it's good. And in my dragon boots, all are purple. And as you guys see. My jewelry here is six percent your attributes. Why is this? Because I use four uh, infantry defense um, jewelry to get that one that I showed you guys before on eight percent. So I'm working now to get my infantry defense jewelry to seven percent in these dragon boots. Well, that's my that's my equipment now. So. I'm gonna show you guys how can I get in that this is my my preset number one I have uh, everybody has five presets but many people just use one and focus on one two maybe three types of troops but I focus on four types of troops the reason is because I don't know um, later maybe the game has has after the, the, the last update uh, messed up with uh, many people who only uh, played infantry. Of course, I uh, mainly play infantry, but uh, um, I like to focus on all those type, type troops um, in general. 
because I don't want surprise in the future. Maybe they they make a crazy change again. Um, maybe um, tomorrow war machines becomes the mainly troops and the ones who kills more. I don't know. They mess with people, so <laughs> I don't know. I, I like this game. I, I like uh, the way they do it. Uh, smart. Uh, I mean, many people are angry, but I, I'm not. I'm, I'm prepared. This is a virtual game, and I'm focused on what I on what I want. So I show you guys my equipment already. So this is my best preset, the infantry. If I switch to cavalry, is my second preset. As you see here, all my yearly are on green because it's cavalry. Okay, so I have them in six percent. All my reset attributes are focused on cavalry, of course, but they are not that good as infantry because I focus mainly in infantry. Even <clears throat> if I'm a cavalry player, I I would like to have uh, infantry HP and infantry defense because the infantry takes I mean the infantry T10 takes the most damage in every single attack so uh, here I have my cavalry as you see dragon blade um, they are not that good but well my yugle is, is decent six percent five percent and my dragon helm there are six and um, five percent in my uh, dragon armor are six percent all of them in my dragon pants I have one in five percent in my uh, dragon gloves I have five percent only usually on the attributes of course um, focus on cavalry if I want to kill uh, an archer player I will use these presses of course and my my best heroes I mean my best heroes for cavalry I don't spend on heroes for cavalry and the reason why is because I'm trying to get those heroes that I want has Gideon and maybe in not far future er Errata um, Kanoa for archers now I will start to uh, focus more on infantry and archers with the last update I I, I have this good jewelry I mean decent jewelry on cavalry because I was <coughs> focused on cavalry has my second troop type but I realized that archers plays now uh, a better role for in my opinion than cavalry cavalry with the last update they receive <laughs> how can I say the most damage they, they are not that good as before now you receive an infantry rally and all your your mainly cavalry gets killed so that's what you see guys when uh, a player are sending their war machines and cavalry away when they are receiving a rally is because they gonna take your rally you have a 90% of probability they gonna take your rally so they are sending away your ca uh, their cavalry to other castles that are protected as well that has their their uh, war machines because they're gonna take your rally and they gonna play you with uh, infantry and archers inside their castle so they have more chances to win in that defense well that's my opinion as you guys saw those are my attributes on cover now I'm gonna I'm gonna switch to archers that are my third attributes how can you see here sorry um, all my yugolis are focused on archers and my reset attributes as well and here as well and as you see my um, archers attribute are not that good as uh, infantry or cavalry because I'm working on it recently so I'm focused on them recently they are not that good but I'm working on it so maybe in the future I will have uh, very good stats on archers now I don't and here you see and now in my sorry my four preset I have war machines <laughs> almost anybody in this game plays war machines but I don't know as I say maybe the day to day after tomorrow you, you never know this game changed for crazy stuff and you might want to have uh, in a preset for war machines you never know so I switched to war machines uh, of course my yearly and my stats on war machines are crap but 
the same, I'm working slowly on them. Here, as you see, War Machines attack and HP and defense, I'm focused on them, and you will do this level 5. The same for War Machines. Also, guys, I don't have good heroes for War Machines. Uh, I mean, uh, level of heroes for War Machines. Not because I can't have them. It's because I don't want to focus on them. I'm focused now on my infantry heroes mainly because I got recently Yasan 120. And I have a get 120. I have Facelift 120. I want Gideon 120. So I'm working on them very hard. So later I will focus on archers and um, maybe <laughs> after that, maybe three years from now I will focus on war machine heroes. But now it's not my priority. Actually, war machine heroes are not bad, but they are not that good as uh, archers and infantry heroes like today. As you saw guys, look, uh -huh. an orange attribute that's even um, bigger than the purple one. I got lucky in this one, but I have a War Machine HP on white. I didn't want to get rid of these reset attributes because the orange, the War, the war Machine's attack 8.3%. I know I can I can use a lock on the on, on the War Machine HP white, but I don't want. To. So basically, how did I focus on all those two types? Thanks to this jewelry that I will show you here guys as you all know you go to your Hall of War honor medal exchange I don't have many more uh, honor medals exchange because I already uh, changed, uh, changed them recently for uh, military skills these are the military skills my military skills um, they are not that great because I used to buy this infantry blessing stone, cavalry blessing stone, only only infantry blessing stone. Actually, I received the cavalry blessing, the archer blessing, and the war machine blessing with a recent, uh, recently um, events that the rise of the kings put on it, and they sent me a huge package that many people receive when they did the 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 great update. On the troop types, I received many of the cavalry blessing archers and war machine blessings. Also, I received some infantry blessing stones as well. But this is the reason my my reset attributes are focused on troop types. These stones that you see right here, you put them on this little hole. Sorry. Um, when you are resetting, you come here to the blacksmith and equipment and reset. Um, this little uh, black hole that you see here with uh, a plus on it, I you put the blessing stone of any troop types that you want to focus on, and they will try they will upgrade the troop types that you want. Well, I'm done with uh, equipment. If you have guys have any questions at all about equipment, you can just leave me a comment and I will text you back I promise you I will attend you and I will tell you about uh, what I know in my knowledge ranch what I know about the equipment uh, jewelry stones so I won't be uh, I, I, I won't do the longest video on this so I will I will show you guys now my heroes my heroes are not good good but they are not bad I mean now I have my Jason 120 which I am proud of this boy toy. Um, they increase in your HP by 49-75% and the enemy troops ties attacking your infantry will receive a 19-74% of their own damage inflicted. This is huge, guys. Why? This guy is super good when you are setting a rally against an enemy if you use your infantry. Infantry T10 and Infantry T11. T10 is very important with this hero, guys. This hero is like the T10 infantry hero. Because uh, this troop type that I will show you here, guys, sorry, uh, real quick. Infantry T10, look at the HP, 39.76, and defense, 298. Compared to infantry T11 from 
3976 to 3170. They have more HP than T11 and more defense. 298 compared to 265. Of course, the T11 Spearman, they have way much more attack than infantry. But infantry T10 is very important because it's a shield man. They are created to protect any type of troop that you are using in a rally or you are defending on the wall so they will take your damage and if you have this guy with your infantry t10 he will take care of reflecting that damage that your infantry t10 is taking throw back to your enemy that's the reason i wanted these guys so much because he reflects the damage that your troop your infantry troops takes so now this is my boy toy favorite boy toy for now because i'm focusing I'm, i mean i'm buying little by little packages on my gideon my gideon is level 80 but it's 28 more golden shards i will have him on level 100 so he will probably be more um useful but anyways i'm using i'm using him with uh Yassan, but sometimes on the wall my infantry is Oget and this guy. So my HP attack and defense of those two guys will be huge. And I put on Oget my L. Many people d don't like Oget on the wall. Um, <clears throat> I hear a comment of Mars, uh, another streaming guy. He's very good. I learned a lot from him. He doesn't like Oget on the wall. But the reason I think he hasn't been successful with Oget on the wall is because he hasn't used this skill on Oget. That infantry has a chance to dodge some damage when they are attacked. So, plus the HP and defense that Oget already has, Oget already have, um, this skill that Mars has it, but he has it on his Ravi. I... I would advise him to switch this skill and put it on Oget and put his Yassan with Oget on the wall and receive any to any type of rally and he will be more successful defending his castle. So, it's my point of view. Guys, I won't make a, a long video for cavalry heroes or, or any other type of heroes. I will do this little video only on infantry heroes. Uh, I don't longer use, uh, I no longer use um, Dolin uh, unless I'm joining a rally or, or something. Uh, Ring Steed Shaper is very good. I have uh, trained him until 45. But now I will use in Jason that I have all my infantry books on Jason. And again, I don't have, um, I have this guy. Uh, strength 40, my faceless, little faceless, but um, not putting any books on him. I just put all my infantry books on Jason. And don't worry, guys, when I it's time to battle, I will use a hero and I will put these skills that I have 13 uh, books of uh, infantry attack, infantry defense, and infantry HP. I just waiting to see if I can get my infantry books on level 15 so I can put those books on Jason infantry attack and get my max books on level 30 on Jason so if I don't get those 15s books before KBK or Overlord I will put those skills books probably on faceless or uh, if I'm taking a rally on my Oget oh great you're straight now to level 30 ah I forgot guys we are playing this um, Event the outsider has come the Ethan uh, you can get as you see here ranks on the stuff sorry uh, points rewards if you see these chests give you all get charts I already won my first chest so phase two gives you ten more and the last chest gives you twenty shards I recommend I highly recommend you to play this uh, event because those all get charts are pretty good and um, but he's very useful now as you see here um, again yeah 
uh, C. <laughs> I will add a little comment. C, C wine from Kingdom 235. I send you a hello. You said she always joking. She says that okay, uh, it's, it's like Shrek. <laughs> nice, nice joke. Uh, hi, C. I hope you're good. Look at this guy. Increases your infantry HP and defense by 85.93. If I train this guy into level 50, probably those stats will increase. And he he adds a little extra buff that infantry by uh, how is it? infantry in your dispatch will decrease the damage received by your infantry by 0 0.25% up to a maximum of 25%. So every 100 battle prestige at uh, additional 1.16 to this buff. This is pretty cool because they decrease the damage. Um, the reason I wanted to talk about heroes now, I don't longer use um, Dolin for attacking or Steam Shaper, not because they are bad, it's because they don't have damage damage in his uh, skills. So, Faceless Knight is pretty good on his attack and HP is pretty good, but he doesn't have any buff on damages, increases or decreases. So the reason is now his faceless knight is less used by um, many players. Many players use it. It's pretty good, but it's not that good as he used to be because now the damage in your in your skills. Um, it can give you a win or a lose in a battle. So I recommend to Rock Team, Rise of the Kings, development development team to I don't know put some extra skill on Faceless. It's a shame because Faceless Knight is still a, a hero that you have to pay for getting him, and even though they haven't add any extra buff as they did to the Jasan, they add this HP recently in the update and Oget Oget he received defense Oget was pure HP now he also has infantry defense that's the reason he's so good so now he also decreases the damage and uh, that's the reason now Oget has become even more useful than green steel shaper so I don't know. These um, Rise of Kings are gonna get get us all crazy. I don't know the logic, but it is what it is. So Steel Shaper is a golden hero, but it doesn't have as much HP and defense increases as Oget. Oget has almost the double than uh, increases troop defense and HP. Of course, uh, Steel Shaper increases the troop defense and HP of all troop types. But come on, guys, we still playing mostly. Most of the players are still playing infantry even after this uh, rug update. So probably, okay, will get uh, will be more useful. Uh, Rafi, I used to use Rafi, but he's not my guy on the wall anymore. So I'm talking only about infantry heroes in this video. If you like, guys, just subscribe, share, comment. Um, if you know any guys who speak Spanish, I mean Espanol, yo hablo Espanol, I speak Spanish, I'm, I'm Cuban actually, uh, leave me a comment, leave me a joke, whatever guys, I'm super nice, so I will be making videos on battles, now it's just a short one, see you guys and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, bye.